how is it going guys drew peacock here back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at some people who are literally trying to fake it till they make it why would you do this i don't know maybe you have a, a screw loose in your head but you can't take a run-of-the-mill car and then try to make it look like an exotic or a higher end car it just it won't work people in the car scene are going to call you out on your bullshit the only people you're going to fool are maybe just the simple broads at applebee's but if she knows anything about cars you're going to look like an absolute clown so do not do this to your car I was going to set up a face cam and have a face cam in this video, but I got a little bit too lazy. It's a little bit too late to do any of that. So, sorry. If you guys want to see a face cam video, I'll do it. I've done them in the past. It's not like, a, ooh, Drew, you're going to do a face reveal? No, I'm in plenty of my videos. Trust me. If you go watch my videos, I'm in a good amount of them. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in. First car, Nissan 350Z Salvage for $7,000. $7,000 for a 350Z. You should be getting a pretty good-looking 350Z. Not a salvage title, but maybe... Maybe the mods will back it up. Let's take a look. First picture. Oh, that's why. They think it's a GTR. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry to break it to you, buddy. Just because you wrecked your front bumper trying to drift doesn't mean you can toss on a GTR front bumper and use it as your excuse. That's obviously trying to look like a GTR. And uh, this 350Z, it just ain't it. Maybe he has some spooly snails. Maybe this rear end. Oh, God, look at that fitment. Look at that panel gap right there. Oh, God. Look, that's... Was it rear-ended or was it a head-on collision? Because I could see an excuse of like, well, I wrecked the front bumper, so I might as well just get something different, make it look cool. I could see that as an excuse. But what's going on in your rear then? This is just disgusting. This piece just it looks like it was homemade, made in a shed. Did someone make this out of bubblegum or Play-Doh? What's going on? Interior, uh, it's an automatic, of course. So it is close to a GTR. GTRs are automatic. That's no nothing wrong with that. Underneath the hood, nothing. It looks stock. Well, that's disappointing. You have a great looking car trying to make it look like a, a amazing supercar, you know, a GTR, but underneath the hood, you can't even bother to throw a K&N filter at it. What kind of disrespect is that, man? Come on, we got to get that five horsepower from the K&N filter, but instead, stock. Well, I guess it is what it is. $7,000 for a GTR lookalike. Salvage title, 350Z. Wow, when you say it all like that, it's a little bit embarrassing. Now, I don't speak no Spanish, but... uh. If you guys want to go ahead and translate this in the comments oh wait here we go they translated it for me everything works fine just paint a new bumper lights message me if you're interested by the way your paint from your bumper and your hood they don't really match your bumper looks pearl and that just looks gloss i'm sorry but i think your painter is blind next car 2003 ford mustang gt hmm okay well what does it look like oh it looks like a cobra r whoa okay but it's a Ford Mustang GT. Well, let's go ahead and read the description. Nope, it ain't even a GT. The people that are selling this don't even know what it is. 2003 Ford Mustang GT, you're about to see in a minute, it is in fact a V6. So let's take a look. First picture, the exterior looks like a Cobra R. The Cobra R from factory, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It looks a little bit riced. This isn't it right here. I'll throw up an actual Cobra R right here, but the wing looks a little bit riced. The front bumper, hate it or love it, it's up to you. But the wing for sure, it's, it's ugly. It's for sure very, very dated. This guy tried to make his car look like a Cobra R, and it is a good-looking new edge. Some of the stuff is a little bit overdone, but I do like the wheel setup. It's a little bit too high for my ride height. The hood pins, if it's functional and everything, it's, it's not that bad-looking of a car. But then you look at it and you realize, well, this is just a dressed-up V6. All of this on a V6 platform. I owned a V6 Mustang from this generation. It's not that fast of a car. In fact, it is not a fast car. Cobra R Mustang. Oh, and this is just embarrassing. Looks like the GTR R2. I don't think the Cobra R badge looks anything like that. This guy went online and just typed in all the cosmetic modifications. Those are the cheapest window louvers I've ever seen also. The cheap plastic mold like that, it's just nasty. It's nasty. Again, from here, it doesn't look like that bad of a car, but when you realize underneath the hood, oh God, holy shit, I forgot about those. He has Lambo doors on his V6 Mustang Cobra R fake. What is going on, man? This is getting worse and worse. Just every picture that goes on, my heart is just, just trying to just end itself just so I can stop looking at this car. Lambo doors, oh my God. And he's got the LED lights too to let you know, hey buddy, look at this shit, I'm cool. The interior, phew, look at all that stuff. Look at all that add-on stuff. He's got some little metal knobs here. He has some metal outlining his cup holders. He has metal on the plates. This is just a rugged race car, man. Just ready to hit the track with that V6. Oh, he even has metal outlining his little gauges. That's so adorable. A NOS sticker too? Dude, this guy is so cool. Let's see what's underneath the hood. Oh, 
Well, that's disappointing. Wait a second, he has a blower on it. Oh my god, do they even know he has a blower? So we got a V6 Mustang with a Pro Charger on it right dead center. Is this rice or is this nice? I'm honestly confused now. I mean, he is faking it, so I will I will yell at him for that. That's a bad, bad guy. Bad. Don't do that no more. You can't fake stuff. But he does at least have a blower on it. That's better than that stupid fake GTR we just saw. Oh, it does say it here. Outfitted with a Paxton supercharger. That that clearly says Pro Charger right there. These guys are morons. That's identical to the one that's on my car. Identical faceplate right there. It's probably not an F1A, but it is the same plate as the one that's on a Pro Charger. That does not say Vortex. That's not how the Vortex look. Or P Paxton, whatever the hell they said it was. So I'm confused. They know it's a V6 Mustang. They called it a Mustang GT. The guy thinks it's a Cobra R. Dude, this is the most confusing car I've ever seen. So it's a boosted V6 Mustang. Is it rice or nice? I think that shit's a little bit too rice. You know, I, if you're going to boost a V6, I would just do a sleeper build. If you're going to do that, don't do this and try to make it look like something you're not. You're not a Cobra R. You're a V6 Mustang with a blower on it. And don't forget about the Lambo doors. All right, next car. Honda. That's all it says. For Uno Dollar, you get a Honda. Well, let's take a look at this Honda. So this is a very, very bold first picture to start with. Yeah. I can't tell what's going on here. So underneath the hood, we have whatever the hell that is. This just looks like a whole lot of chrome underneath the hood. There's clearly a Honda badge there, but that front end, I don't know about you, but that just doesn't look like any Honda I've ever seen. Hmm, it almost looks like that one guy from Lilo and Stitch. This is one funky Honda. Wow, what is that rear end? Oh, they showed the same picture again. Is it only three photos? No, it's not. Okay. Can someone tell me why the front end is so long? Why does it stick out so far? That is way longer than a normal Honda. It's like another extra foot longer. Wow, full race car. Look at that. Comes with a PS3 controller. That is sick. Sick ass dude right here. Dude, why do you have a clear hood? What are you trying to flex on your Honda motor, okay? It's just a whole bunch of chrome. It looks like someone went under there and wrapped everything in tin foil. That ain't a flex. There ain't no turbo underneath there. I'm not gonna lie though. That seat do look comfy though. You ever wanted to watch Netflix while driving on the highway? Or driving on your way to the grocery store? Well, now you can with your TV and your damn sun visor. Cool. This car looks like it wants to be a Jaguar or a Mercedes so bad. I can't honestly tell what the front end is going for. It's just ugly. I wish we could see the rear end better too, but it looks like it wants to be either a Jaguar or a Mercedes. I can't tell. Let's take a look at his description. Make offer. Because, well, you don't have a price, buddy. You have $1. I'll offer you 50 cents for that shit box. Let me pull it off of your front lawn. 1996 Honda Accord. Built for show purposes or can be used as a daily driver. Car has been parked in garage for years since last shown in Dub Show Contest, where I placed best for show and two-door wild. Modifications, hydraulic suspension, taillight and headlight conversion, fully wrapped interior, including front adjustable race bucket seats, Momo steering wheel, chrome roll cage bars, chrome engine parts, 19-inch race rims, shaved door handles, moldings, and license plate, also fully molded body kit. Will require some work. Also, HV to g What does that mean? Also, have to get car registered, which is not a problem. That kind of sounds like a problem. Have the pink slip, but I have to get it from DMV. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you have a pink slip in hand, buddy. That's a little bit hard to, to sell right there. Pretty much what I got from that description is his car is a piece of shit and he doesn't want it anymore. And he probably can't drive it because it's not registered. So... Yeah, if you want to go and uh, get a headache, well, <laughs> here's the car for it. If you've just been wishing that you just had a pain in your ass to deal with, this is the car for it. I wonder what showed up. If this thing won best of show, what other cars could have showed up? Imagine them. Ooh, 1993 Bugatti Other. Well, I've never heard of that, but let's go ahead and take a look. I mean, a Bugatti for $4,900? That's a pretty good price. Let's take a look. Wow, that is a weird looking Bugatti. I've never seen a Bugatti look so sad in my life. Why does it look like a Honda Del Sol? I don't think it is a Honda Del Sol. I don't know what the donor car is, but why does it look like that? Wow, look how good of shape he keeps this car with all of the dirt collecting in the headlight area. What is... Come on, man. Look at that. I don't think a Bugatti would design a car to have a huge air pocket right on the front of it. That just looks stupid. All right, nice Bugatti front grille. Oh, look at those wheels straight off of a Bugatti if I've ever seen one. Looks like something that you wouldn't see at, you know, Pep Boys or AutoZone or OfferUp. That looks like something only the top of the elite class can buy. 
underneath the hood the bugatti motor the w16 we've all been waiting for look at it it is so beautiful it turns out bugatti gets their engines from honda i understand why everyone thinks hondas are fast because bugatti gets their engines from honda it makes sense now now it does look like it is blown or turboed whatever he's got it does look like it is boosted so it is a boosted honda in this bugatti but is that enough is that is that good enough for the w16 motor we'll have to see in his description it does look like it is taken care of. It does look like it is in decent shape. The interior, Civic Gotti. So it turns out Bugatti and Honda have joined together to stop everyone and defeat everyone in street racing, road racing, any racing. They're, they're just going to win. Is that all the pictures? No. No. Please, I want more. Oh, well, we can't see the booty of it, sadly. I really wish we could. Uh, the bodywork, I mean, that's a... <laughs> Look how smooth that looks right there. It doesn't look like someone just can shove their ass cheeks right on it or anything like that. All right. Does he have a nice description? I hope he does. The Bugatti Civic sales video. Don't really want to watch that. That sounds really cringy. We've upgraded the engine as follows. Turbo with blow off valve, intercooler, sway bar link, fuel management system, cold air intake, upgraded hoses. Engine cost of upgrades was 20, 2100. That's it for every. That's cheap. Jesus, I'm in the wrong market of cars. Wow. All right, guys, next video is going to be me buying a Honda and turning it into a Bugatti. $4,900. Come pick up this uh, fresh ass exotic. Well, let's move on to the last car. Last car 1990 Mazda MX5 for $5,000. That doesn't sound like a bad price, but let's take a look at this gem. I guess we can't zoom in. Wow, that's awkward. Well, here we go. First thing that catches my eye, besides the glare from the sun on the hood on that fresh paint job, is the fake hood scoop and if that's fake then i wonder if these are fake hood vents as well they almost they kind of look like they're faced the wrong way so i wouldn't doubt it but maybe that's just a shitty camera quality who knows talk about a race car you guys have heard of front canards but have you ever heard of rear canards look at that that is what you call aggressive right there he doesn't have one wing but he also has a roof spoiler on top of that which kind of makes perfect sense because the air will bridge the gap over this and perfectly line up to get that perfect downforce. Oh, it's this guy should be designing cars for NASA. It's just perfect. It looks like he has some TE37 reps from here. I can't tell. I, I, I want to read that description. He only has two photos, sadly, but from those two photos, I mean, there's a lot packed into it. We got the toe strap. We got the fake hood scoop. We got the fake hood vents. We have the double wings. I mean, this guy is just a genius. Let's let's take a look at it. Running perfect. Engine was rebuilt on Mr. Mazda. Have now 10,000 miles. Everything on the car is new. I did for myself. Nothing on the car can go separate. Damn, because I really wanted to part out this car and just buy the fake hood scoop. I really just, I was hoping that I could only just buy that. It's sad because I can't find those anywhere else. And same with those rear canards. I mean, I, I can't find those anywhere. I type in rear bumper canards and I, let me, let me try to look for some right now. See guys, only the fast cars get rear bumper canards like the BRZ or I don't know. It looks like only the BRZ. Because you can never have too much downforce. Who needs a diffuser? Just get rear canards. You see this Porsche? You see how it doesn't have rear canards? Well, that's because it's a piece of shit. You don't want a stupid Porsche. You know, what are they, a few hundred thousand dollars? Pfft. It's a waste of money if it doesn't come with rear canards. And look at that stupid wing. Probably straight off of Amazon. What an idiot. God, I could find one of those on Amazon for my car, and I'm not going to pay a couple hundred thousand dollars for it. Stupid clown. Wow, so for $5,000, I get a custom race car with super high-tech technology to make sure that I have the maximum amount of downforce. That's a steal. Well, that's going to do it for this video. This video was action-packed with uh, sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think I should do next. Subscribe to see more videos like this one and hit that notification bell so you can flock to the videos with everyone else. I'm going to go to bed. Until next video, peace.